Guys, I went to Short Hills Mall today and some shit happened. Totally unexpected. Um, I'm supposed to be on Ban Island, but I have been obsessed with sparkly bags, as you've seen in my um, previous unboxings. And I was on the lookout for like a silver sparkly bag or just not white, but light colored. Anyway, I don't know, whatever. Let's just get into it. I'm walking through the mall. I've never been a Versace fan before. It's black and gold. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I don't like gold. So I heard of their new Strauss Medusa, Medusa bags. I don't know, the ones with the little top handles. So I went in there to look at them because I knew they had an all black one and an all silver one. When I went in there, they had a different colored one that I was not expecting. And shit went down. Okay, so this is my very first Versace bag. It's actually only my second Versace purchase ever. I have a coat from there. Um, I was never a Versace fan at all. So this is new to me. I've done zero research on this bag. Usually I research the shit out of bags before I buy them. But this was a complete impulse buy. Um, here's how the receipt comes. And it does come in. Oh, it comes in a magnetic box. Like the Chanel magnetic boxes. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it has like a little flap here. So it closes like that. I don't know if it's magnetic, but it comes in a really nice box. I was not expecting that. Um, okay. So like, I hope I don't regret, I don't think I'll regret this bag. Um, I don't usually regret my purchases, but, um, anyways, here it is. I, you're going to see why I had to have it. And I, I'm also selling some things. So I felt a little bit justified in buying this, but we will see. Um, I've also never seen a Versace bag unboxing on YouTube, but I'm pretty sure after today I will start looking for them. Here it is. This is the way it comes. It has like the Versace, I forget what it's called. I forget what print that's called. Um, and then it comes just like that. Here is the little dust bag. Um, actually there, it says Versace in gray. Um, it's a good quality dust bag, soft cotton, drawstring, which I like. Okay, here it is, guys. Like, oh my God, the sun already is going down. So I don't think you're going to get like, you're not going to get sunlight beaming in, but oh my God. Okay, here it is. Ready? Ah, look at it. Oh my God. I forget the name of this bag, but it's one of their newer ones with all the Strauss on it, the crystals. And this is my favorite color palette, like pink, blue, purples, all of that. And I, when I saw this, I literally walked in and I went, <gasps> and I pointed at it and the lady was like, yeah, it's one of a kind. Well, not one of a kind. I shouldn't say that. She said it, it's very rare. I don't know if it is. I don't know if she was lying to me. I honestly don't care. But they only had one. Um, they only had one before this that sold and it took them weeks to get this one in. So I didn't want to risk going home thinking about it. Like, I mean, look at it. I love the shape. I love the top handle. It's big enough so that I can carry it like this, which is a requirement for me. Um, it does not have feet and has crystals on the bottom. That's okay. No back pocket, but it is this blue leather. It's so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'll show you. So it is mini top handle fabric. It says fabric, but this is definitely leather. Um, I'll show you the tag in case anybody's interested in it. Um, yeah, I forget what the, these bags are called. So here's the inside. Now you can loop the strap through it. It does have a crossbody strap that's adjustable. Here's the stuffing. Comes like this. Here is the crossbody strap, which we will get to in a second. Um, and then this little card, which we'll look at. And then here's the inside. It does have this fabric tag sticking out that is kind of annoying. It's not removable. Um, it has a bar, uh, a QR code on it. 
and I know that you can scan it and it'll tell you if your bag's authentic or it'll tell you all about your bag. So I do know that because my coat has that. Um, silver hardware on the mid, on the inside. It has three card slots here with silver Versace. It says Versace um, made in Italy right here. And it's an all leather interior. And I will tell you, I put everything that I was carrying in my small boy bag my Chanel small boy bag I put in here and I had a little bit more room. So I was carrying my boy bag with a two millimeter Zumoni insert. So uh, I don't know about capacity yet, but a, as a general overview, it holds at least as much as a Chanel boy bag, small boy bag. Um, so look at the handles. It goes from blue. Yeah, from like blue to pink. The handles have Strauss crystals on it. Even the handles do. The Medusa is all Strauss with a silver background. If it was gold, it would have been a no for me. With a silver background. And then it's pink and blue crystals. Like an ombre effect on blue leather. Oh, guys. Okay. So let me put the strap. Let me show you the strap. The strap is leather. Um, it has a silver buckle. And then it has this many adjustments on it. So you open it up. Let's see. I'm going to do it on camera so you guys can see. You just loop it through like this. It The leather seems pretty durable. It's like um a tougher calf leather, if I had to guess. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. So let's see. Oh, you know what? I put it in upside down. Let's did I put it in? I don't know, guys. I'm just, I'm freaking out because this was such an impulse buy, but I was looking for something. I'm going to put it on the middle, the middle um, setting so that you can see it'll go a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. I was kind of looking at the sparkly bags, so that's how it is. It has a magnetic closure. So this is the middle length. So it can go two notches longer and two notches shorter. Let me put it crossbody. Okay, so crossbody is a little high. So let me, I haven't done anything about the measurements on this. I literally just walked in the door and wanted to get this video done before the sunset. So now I have it on the longest setting. That's it on the longest setting on me. Mind you, I'm five, two and a half. And then this is it on the longest crossbody, which I might wear like this. I will either wear a crossbody or just totally um, handheld. Guys, look at this. Look at it just like this. How cute. I actually like it without the strap um, handheld. So what I love about it too is if you have the strap on, you can totally tuck it in and it doesn't show at all. So if you decide, if you start carrying it like this and then you decide you want the strap, you can take the strap out. Guys, look at this. Oh my God. Here's a close up. It's coming off pretty true to color. I just don't have any natural light coming through, but I do have white light in my little walk-in closet type of thing here. To give you an idea and then i just noticed so the crystals around this alternate blue and pink can you see i'm obsessed look at the handles the handle um i don't know the dimensions of this i don't know anything about it it was a i did zero research i just had to have it so once i do i'll do once i use it a couple times i'll give you a full review um my hair seems to like be sticking out and I will get give you the measurements and everything to this when I can. But guys, this is it. Thank you for letting me unbox this and thank you for watching.